welcome, welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Pokemon Green version. And uh, speaking, of, speaking of Pokemon Green, or at least Green Pokemon, uh, this is TM45, for those of you wondering. That one contains, I think, Seismic Toss. Oh wait, no, that contains Thunder Wave. I think that's another item that's further up ahead. Anyway, talking about green Pokémon, there's an event coming up tomorrow for all the those who own a DS. And the game's Pokémon Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold, and Soul Silver. And, well, I'm definitely looking forward to that event that's starting tomorrow. Considering... Oh wait, darn it, I just blocked off my way to the item. I just got to upper mountain, no, but I'm ready. Um, well basically, the event is that you can download a special Pokémon called Celebi onto your copies of those DS games. I thought that guy had a Geodude. Eh, oh well. Anyway, and you can only get the Celebi into each game once per game, but there's no restriction as to how many games you can download it onto, so you could technically get five of that Pokémon, one for each game. Wait, what Pokémon did it say you had? Oh, Geodes. <laughs> and I definitely know that on either Wednesday Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm gonna be getting five of that Pokémon. <laughs> One for each cartridge. And <laughs> Selfie has been a Pokémon that you can not get very easily. Heck, it not have been from when it originally debuted in Gold, Silver, and Crystal. It was very hard to obtain. There we go. Got him back to his original spot. And right here in this wall is an Elixir. That's a very useful item. And seriously, outside of the... In all the, uh, western areas in the world, Selby has been scarce as as far as, uh, distribution is, is concerned. Considering, well, originally in Gol in Crystal, which was where Sel the original Selby event was, they made it so that you could get them from a mobile phone event that would trigger something in-game, but they never really localized that to the western areas of the world like America. So people like me have never been able to get it in the original games, so this is pretty much the first time that anyone can legitimately get a Celebi outside of Japan. Let's see, I think that guy's a youngster, so I think I'll swap out to... Hmm. I'll give Mouse or Chance. Um... Yeah, and... It's kinda neat that they're finally giving a way to get Selby very easily. Oh, Rantan versus Rantan! And I, for one, think that this is a good idea for an event. If only for at least two weeks, maybe three. Hey, that's pr even longer than any of the other events that they've been having recently, which, which have been only one week long. But those, and to think that these last four events that have been going on have been corresponding with the recent movie that came out called, uh, Zoroark and the Master of Illusions. Which, I saw that movie and it, I thought it was pretty good. And, it's kind of funny how each of the events pretty much kind of stand side by side, correspond with the Pokémon that they unlock in the upcoming games, Pokémon Black and White. And it's kind of and I kind of find it really ironic that I'm playing a game called Games Red, Blue, and Yellow, which are in black and white, and yet we'll be getting games called Black and White that are in full color. <laughs> That's just something that I wanted to mention. Ah, Slowpoke. This guy... Whoa! 
was definitely key in getting the Mew glitch to work out in red. Darn it. Uh, Pika Power. I should have sent Pika Power out from the start here. Anyway, uh, this is basically the most that I'll be talking about Pokemon Black and White ever in a, a Let's Play, considering I don't plan on talking about it that much. Considering I don't even know much about the game itself, I've been trying to go spoiler-free on it, considering there's spoilers about it all over the place. As a sand trainers around the world. Hmm. I think this person has something. Well, every trainer has something. Hmm. Let's see. I think I'll send out Stinger to lead out this time. And, uh... Basically, I... Over the past month or two, they've been giving out some legendaries for, for the, those five games I mentioned already, Diamond and Pearl, Platinum. Nice, critical. Um, Heart Gold and Soul Silver have been pretty much three legendaries for one Pokemon in black and white, which I believe the Pokemon for that would be Zoroark. And the Pokémon that you can get from sending Celebi over to Black and White would be its pre-evolution Zoroa. But that's just as far as I know. And I think it also allows you a special scene. The Celebi, anyway, will allow you access to a special scene in Heart Gold and Soul Silver that will pretty much put in, wrap up the story of the game as far as the main villains of it goes. I'm not all too sure on how that story will play out, considering I have yet to even participate in that event yet. And some people tend to think that the these Pokémon events are mainly just so that Nintendo can get more money off of it, but those people have failed to realize that these events are free events. I'm serious. Seriously, I mean, the, uh... Alright, that guy's gonna have a, a Geodude, I think, and an Onyx. Um, the events have basically been free distribution. I mean, I went off to the last three events for, uh, the, the legendaries that they had last month, and I got five of each of the three. Oh, no. So, and they didn't even charge me anything. It was just go into the GameStop building, download the Pokemon, and exit. And I'm pretty much expecting that to be the same thing this week with the Celebi. Like, you could just probably stand right outside the building and download the Pokemon. And then, and you wouldn't even have to e enter the building. And now, Bulb. Forest is ready for the gym. Uh, I think I'll switch out to King so he can get some experience off of this Machop. So then he can... He looks just like Queen does. I just realized. Um... Shoot, I forgot what level King will learn his next move at. Considering I'm gonna be keeping him as a uh, Nidra... Reno for quite a while. Same for Queen. Back to Bulba. I mean, Forrest. He's like, I keep on mixing up his name for what it's going to be. Or what his name is going to be for what it currently is. I kind of really regret having named him Bulba, considering that's probably one of the most common names that you can give a Bulbasaur in the beginning. I mean, seriously, naming it Bulba, I should have thought that through, and I even have a list for all the nicknames for starters written out already for future games that I'm going to be LPing, although the remakes of the games will keep the same nicknames as the originals. 
like in Fire Red and Leaf Green, I'll be nicknaming the stars the same things as I nicknamed them in this game. And Red and Blue as well. So, just a little tidbit for that. And, uh, I've actually kind of planned out a couple of my teams for the rest of the game in a cup in red. And part of my team for blue, and I'm still working on a team for this game. I'm, I definitely know that I'll be keeping my starter. That's always the case for me. I mean, seriously, whoever goes out into the games without their starter is pretty much like basic common knowledge, something or other. Hmm. You know, I think Bulba... Forest! Jeez, I gotta get into the hang of calling him by his future name, and not his current one. Uh, Forrest here has enough experience, because he's level 20 already. He might learn a new move in just a few levels, I'm not sure entirely, but hey, he's close enough to leveling up to take on the gym leader of Cerulean City. And this guy was hiding because he was scared of the other trainers that were on Nugget Bridge, I think. So now... Rattata! Go Queen! I think Queen is also the name of a band. I think they're the band who sang the song, We Are The Champions. I'm kind of tempted... Having said that, I'm kind of thinking of putting in the kind of like a sound clip of that song in one of these battles someday. I don't think I will, considering it would probably cause trouble for my account on YouTube. Kind of like how that poison sting just caused trouble to that rat attack. Scratch. Ah, the poison didn't even get to affect him. I can... I'm gonna keep Queen out despite being at only 13 HP and Scratch and Tackle being my only moves that can damage it. But hey, Poison Sting will only be doing one damage. Okay, it did two. So I was wrong. Crud. That's... Ooh. Critical hits are not good for me. Bear Switch to King. Same type, same resistances, same wraps. And also same back sprite. At least it looks the same. <laughs> if there's a noticeable differences in them, I don't notice them. Finally got released from that ramp. There we go, there goes his Ekans. And there goes Junior Trainer. I thought not. Hit because the people on the bridge scared me. And this is where you can find an Abra if you want one. I personally don't in this LP. I might get a Geodude. Maybe a Machop. I don't know. I still have time to think this type of thing through. Uh, who should I have lead? I'm, I kind of I kind of want Stinger to get a new move. Yeah, I think that... Yeah, he, he learns a new move in two levels. Twin Needle, I think. It's his best attack, I think. I believe. Twin Needle is Beedrill's best move. Oh, I thought I didn't battle him yet. And this guy is guarding a TM, I think. Oh, cool guy, I've got a girlfriend, blah blah blah. That's something you, that you shouldn't really just say up front to someone that you're meeting for the first time. I mean, you could get some really awkward looks from that. And for that, you'll get hit by a poison sting. Critical poisoning! That's a new phrase. It's right there that I just thought up. Critical poisoning. Just like super criticals, only it's not super effective. Only it's poisonous. A poisonous critical hit. Hooray! Level 19! One more level and he might learn Twin Needle. I'll probably check that in just a second. Actually, I'll check it right now. Okay, the level 4 Twin Needle. 
is... Not Leer. That's not a level, that's an attack. And let's go. Yep, one more level. And then we'll have Twin Needle and... Wow, that was close. I almost got him that turn. Um... I just... I think I just realized that, uh... Forest here is gonna be the first starter to evolve fully. Considering I think he has the quickest evolution of the three starters. And now to grab this item that he was guarding. TM19, I believe that might be Seismic Toss. Well, let's check it out. Uh, yep, it contains Seismic Toss. Let's just see what... Only Pika Power! Eh. This I'll be able to get rid of later on after the gym. Oh, I almost forgot about this guy. I, I think I'll... Wrong button! Eh... Uh, and I got nothing to lose. I knew I had to fight you! And, surprise surprise, he also knows that he's gonna lose. Especially when you match poison with poison. Although... Technically, I'm not gonna be hitting him with poison, I'm gonna be hitting him with normal. Because saying poison attacks on a poison type Pokemon, unless it's a Weedle or Kakuna in this game, for some odd reason, is super effective on those two. But see, he didn't even get to land a hit on me. Ah, Sandshrew, you can poison ground types, but it's just not quite as likely to considering they have a bit of a resistance and wow, he's got some high defenses if, if Fury Attack's not doing that much damage. And that was five hits! That's the max you can get, unless it's different in this game, because um, a lot of things were changed between red, blue, and yellow to gold, silver, crystal. And, uh, lowered accuracy. Did he hit me with two sand attacks? Oh, there we go. Seems like that sand attack boosted my attack power. I knew I'd lose too. See? what I tell ya? Let's see, uh... 435 to level 20. That's not... that's not... that's not... Yeah. Tongue tied. My friend has a cute Pokemon, I'm so jealous. She wants a Clefairy. I have... Actually, I don't think I have one in this game. Which game do I not have a Clefairy in? I don't remember anymore. Considering it's kind of challenging to juggle three Let's Plays at once. Seriously, have you ever tried doing that? I only know of, like, probably two people who can... who I've seen juggle multiple Let's Plays before. And I'm not one... And I've been used to doing just one LP at a time, considering it's easier that way. So it's... doing... Red, blue, and green all at once is kind of challenging, considering I have to memorize which teams I have in which game. I think I might get a level up off, off of this trainer battle. I'm not too sure, and I'm... I'm not sure which move to get rid of for Twin Needle. Oh, I, I definitely know I'll get rid of Stringshot, actually. That move's pretty much useless to me. And Twin Needle is gonna be my ace in the hole for the, uh, for a future gym, and hold on just a second, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that little interruption. Back to the Pidgey, who I can't seem to hit anymore. Jeez, can I please hit this guy sometime today? Oh, crud. Oh, wait, <laughs> I forgot. It's not flying-type move in this game. It's normal. Okay, how much? Ugh. Okay, I'm switching out to King. Come on. Jeez. Okay, just for quick measure, how much experience does he- 66! Wow! If that, if that Pidgey hadn't hit me with that gust, I probably would've gotten the level up to level 20. Oh well, I'll get that level up in the next battle that I have, which... Will probably have to be a wild Pokemon battle. 
probably a Pidgey, <laughs> just like that one I fought. Or maybe a Kakuna. Or... I don't know. You came from Mount Moon? Can I put a fairy? Um... See, can I fill lips here? Uh, I can wait until healing my Pokémon. What's this? Teleporter is displayed on the PC monitor. Hello there, random Pokémon. Which Pokémon are you? Uh, Clefairy? Rattata? Pikachu? I have no idea. You can't really tell in this game what they look, what they are just from looking at them. Heck, it even looks like a substitute. And that's a move for later on that we haven't even seen yet. Um, I don't, can't believe I'm here already. Okay, let's speak to it. Hiya! I'm a Pokémon! Whoa! A Pokémon that can talk? You don't see that every day, except for a few specific Psychic-type Pokémon or those with telepathy, but those are usually only encountered in the movies, like Mute... Er, no, 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 I'm not gonna spoil that. No, I'm not. Calling Bill. I'm a true blue Pokémaniac. Hey, what's with that skeptical look? When I was a kid, I didn't even know what skeptical meant, so I was like, What? What is he saying? I'm not joshing you. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So help me out here. Uh, no. No? Come on, you gotta help a guy in deep trouble. What do you say, Chief? Please? Okay. Okay? Alright! While well, I'm in the teleporter, go to my PC and run the cell separation system. Yeah, you can just tell that a kid that plays this for the first time will have no idea what he's even talking about. Because I definitely know that I had no clue what he was even saying. Considering that was such really large vocabulary for a 10-year-old or even an 8-year-old to take in at that time. Initiated Teleporter's Cell Separator. And behold, it turned him from a Pokemon person, freak of nature thing, into a human again. Yeehaw! Thanks, bud. I owe you one. So, did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't? That's a bummer. Oh, God, thank you. Oh, here, maybe this'll do. And I received an SS ticket. That cruise ship SS Anne is in Vermilion City. Its passengers are all trainers. They invited me to their party. But I can't stand fancy dues. Why don't you go instead of me? I guess. Sounds like a plan. And now, just for more redundancy, you can exit and go back in to see his Pokemon collection that he mentioned earlier. Um, Eevee, Flareon, Ultion, Vaporeon. This will add four extra pages to your Pokedex. And we'll be getting an Navy later on, just not this moment. Heck, we still have to get up to uh, the town of the fourth gym. That's all I'm gonna say. Eevee, the evolution Pokemon, it's all everyone ever cares about when you talk about Eevee, apparently, lately. Heck, nowadays it has seven evolutions, which is way too many, and people are still trying to make more evolutions for it. And they're not even the officials on this. This is Flareon, the flame Pokemon. It's a fire type, as the name implies. Basically, they're fire, electric, and water. Due to the whole flare, jolt, and vapor themes in their names. Jolteon, it's a lightning type. It's a lightning Pokemon. There's no such thing as a lightning type. Vaporeon, Bubble Jet Pokemon. If it had said Aqua Jet Pokemon, that would have been kind of funny. I don't think Vaporeons ever get the move Aqua Jet, but that's a move that doesn't even get introduced until Diamond Pearl and Platinum. Actually, Diamond and Pearl, I think. But, wow, well, I've talked about those games a bit more than often than I really had hoped to, but hey. And what's kind of funny is that I'm even using my copy of Diamond as my timer for this game. I, I use it for all my LPs. Uh, hmm. Just checking to see if there were any hidden items. I see that rocket is still there. 
Hmm. Oh, apparently Beedrill will learn a couple more moves. And one of which is pretty good. At least I think it is. I don't really remember. And one of its n next moves is in just five more levels from Twin Needle. Sweet! That's pretty good. I mean, seriously? If it gets two moves within five levels, that's pretty good. Especially considering bug types are, uh... You know how psychic types are? They have very few weaknesses. Actually, in this game, they only have one weakness, and that's bug moves. Although, in all the official media for this game, they always illustrate it as psychics having a weakness to ghost type Pokemon, but there's only one- there's only like two, maybe three ghost moves out there, and Ghost Pokemon in this game are pretty much weak against Psychics. So... Bad advertisement there? I don't know what to think. Ah, oh, if only I had gotten a 5, but getting a 5 on Fury Attack is very rare. Oh, come on! You, I wasn't even hit by a, a Sand Attack! At least I don't think I was, unless my memory is that bad. 102 experience gets you the 66 needed, and then some. So now, Twin Needle. Okay, I'm going to get rid of... String Shot, considering I never use that move. I don't even like String Shot. Hooray for Twin Needle! Now I feel like I've actually accomplished something in this game, or in this video. Not in this game, but we're just in the beginning parts. I mean, I don't even have two badges yet. And just to demonstrate what Twin Needle looks like... Ah! It's not gonna work that well here. Now that I think about it, it's actually gonna be pretty handy against the second gym, considering... What? Even though it's a water gym? Um, they also have... The gym leader also has a psychic type. Oh, bug moves are strong against poisons as well? Well, that's a new one on me. I didn't know that. Well, this game is surprising me even more every time I record. Let's see that again. And I'm not even sure if that's a multiple hitting move. Maybe it is. Uh, well, I've got two... Yeah, two party members ready for the gym. I want to get the other four ready. For now, this will be my team, but I'm I'm definitely likely to change it up a bit later on. So yeah, you can expect tons of things from here. You know what? It's a bug type. Bug is weak against poison. Although I think they fix that in all up all games after Yellow. Which I'll be LPing that game as well, even though it's, for the most part, just a repeat of this game as well. But it has enough differences to justify it. Man, I've been talking about games that follow up on this all over the place. And I really didn't even intend to do that at all. Oh, great. Oh, Abra, why didn't I switch to... Okay, I'm gonna see if I can knock him out. I don't think I've caught an Abra yet. Wow, King is strong enough to defeat Abras in one hit. That's awesome. You know what, I'm gonna switch back to Stinger and hope that we find another Abra. If I do, then I'll be able to demonstrate uh, Twin Needle, a bug move. Yes! On a Psychic type. And I've got only 20 second, 25 seconds to do so. There we go! That's my trump for the psychic types. So, uh, next time on Pokemon Green version... Training a plenty!